Paddling TV is brought to you by Ex Officio and their Soul Cool collection of shirts, which not only wick moisture from the body and dry quickly, but are made with ice fill technology. Ex Officio's Soul Cool shirts actually dissipate heat and provide a cooling effect. Check them out at exofficio.com. The evolution of the Playboat has made a lot of cool new moves possible, but this move in particular blew me away. My first piece of advice is quite simple. If your local river doesn't have warm water, then go to a pool to learn this one. You'll save yourself a lot of headaches. Like so many playboating moves, the success of your loop depends on your setup, and this setup requires some fine-tuned bow stall control. The idea is to pull your boat as deeply underwater as possible while in a bow stall, so you get popped into the air like a cork. This is another time when using a paddle with less than the 30 degree twist will come in really handy. From your bow stall, start bouncing your kayak slightly by pushing off both paddle blades, but don't over bounce yourself. Keep your body neutral as you bob up and down. The idea isn't to push your boat really high into the air, but to establish a rhythm and to build up some additional energy for pulling your boat underwater. Ideally, you'll initiate the loop on your second bounce. As you approach the height of the second bounce, lean hard forward while cocking your wrist back a bit so you can slice your blades deep. As your boat bobs downwards, pull it as far underwater as possible with a powerful dual forward stroke. As you pull on your paddle, lean back and stand up on your foot pegs. This helps push your boat the deepest, while at the same time pulling your kayak to vertical. As your boat starts popping back into the water, you should be standing up on your foot pegs with your paddle out of the water, and your boat should be past vertical. As you continue to accelerate out of the water, jump out and away from your kayak and tuck forward. If you've nailed things up to this point, then you're well on your way to stomping a loop. But you're not quite there. There's one more big trick to the move. As you jump out and away, it seems reasonable that tucking hard forward will bring your kayak around in a full loop, but it won't. As soon as your shoulders hit the water, you'll actually reverse your body motions by quickly leaning back while pushing your heels down and pushing over your head with the back side of your paddle blades. This reversal actually gets done at the top of your boat to pop out of the water. The idea behind opening up your body is that you're pushing your bow into the air so your stern can stab almost vertically into the water. From there, you'll push your paddle over your head and push your heels down to finish off the move. While you do use the backside of your paddle to help push your bow around, it's just as important for keeping your boat straight throughout the move, as it provides a brace on both sides of your kayak when you're upside down. But if you rely too much on your paddle, you'll find yourself rolling up on one side at the end of the move. Once again, this is where a paddle with minimum feather comes in handy as you can use both paddle blades to brace at the same time. 